Alright, welcome to this review video uh, for Battle Mats by Frontline Gaming. Uh, I've seen some of their stuff and I've got a hold of some of the Battle Mats from them, just add some variety to uh, the games that we play here. So we're going to take a review of a couple of their mats that they've done. Uh, I've got Barren Wasteland here and also the new release, it's a Swamp uh, Battle Mat from them as well. So I'm going to review those, we're going to lay them out, get a closer look uh, and then I'll give you my take uh, on how good these Battle Mats are. So uh, I've got these mats come through, I'm quite impressed by them uh, for the fact that they come in a case. Now you don't pay extra for this, this is a stand with the mat that you get, uh, you get a carry case with it. Um, so I'm thinking when I'm going to the club uh, to play games, uh, it's all packed up nice and neatly, I can sling that over my shoulder. Uh, it zips up here and then the mat is inside and at the end here, what they've done is you get a tag on there, it tells you the type of mat that you have and then uh, there's space there to put your details, your name and contact number and so on if the mat gets lost or if you're storing stuff at a club, uh, which is what I do, um, then you can, um, you know, you can identify that it's yours. So that's a good thing to have. Uh, just little extra things that they include in with the mat when you buy it, so that's really good. And uh, just for ease of transportation and for protection as well, uh, it's a nice uh, thing that they've included there uh, with the mat. So I haven't even, even rolled this out yet. Um, so this is how it comes. It comes in a cardboard box um, for postage. Uh, but then this is the mat here. This is a 6x4. Um, so perfect for your games of Warhammer 40,000. Now I hadn't gone down the route of getting Matt's uh, from Frontline Gaming. I presumed it was an American company. It is, but uh, they do ship from the UK as well. So this has come to me from the UK. Uh, so that you know that fear of shipping overseas, um, I haven't had to uh, worry about that. They actually ship from the mainland in the UK as well. So we'll take off the protective covering here. So this one that we're reviewing is called Swamp, so that's terrain that I haven't got. Uh, I haven't got a base for Swamp, so it's, it's going to be fascinating using this. I think I have enough foliage and lich and so on to be able to create some kind of Swamp terrain. Uh, that'll make a fascinating backdrop for a, a future game that we have. Right, so there it is, 6x4 as I said. Um, so it's perfect for your games of Warhammer 40,000. Uh, so what we've got here is this dappled, mottled green effect. There are sort of stone areas across the table as well, around here in the middle. There's a faint outline of some ruins here, uh, some rock areas. And you've got these paths, uh, these broken sort of wood plank bridges here, sort of scattered like autumn leaves as well. So there's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, interest on the table here, a lot of detail they've included. You've got these dark areas, which is where the, the marshy sort of boggy ground is. Um, and then you've even got these like lily pad things growing up through uh, in the water as well. So there's tons of detail, um, as I said before about mats, they are the foundation for your game and then you build up your tray on top. Um, so I was sort of going to show you what I think you could do uh, with your terrain uh, to really enhance this. There's a lot of potential this one and you can have a very strong themed uh, game on it. And it's for Warhammer 40,000, easily for Warhammer Fantasy and indeed any other game as well. It's not, it's not really a futuristic looking one, uh, it's suitable for 40k, you know, they play on Factions would play on worlds like this, uh, but it's suitable for other types uh, of games as well, there's no doubt about that. So just looking at some of the detail on there, uh, so the dark areas is where the, the water would be, the deeper water, and then you've got like the, the lily pad screwing through, uh, you've got the broken bridge uh, across there, and you've got the dappled green effect, and then sort of the leaves at the side of the winding paths here as well. Um, so plenty of areas of interest um, as I mentioned and uh, there's potential here to put terrain out and to, to build it up from there. Right so what I'm thinking I can do is I can take my uh, sort of jungle marshland terrain um, and then sort of following the layout that they give you so you, you're going to keep your plants out of here and then build up stuff towards uh, the edge like so and then you can add in uh, your lichen around the edge of the plants and you can do the lichen up to the boundary of like the shoreline 
and that will help to define it. You've got the basic outline there and then to define that uh, the lichen will help you uh, put that boundary in. Looking something like that and you can see now uh, you've got your plants up to the edge of the water and then uh, your jungle terrain like so. So you can imagine a board filled up that way. Uh, you could put some stone scatter on there as well. You may not even need it just to keep that lushness and that greenness. Uh, perhaps leave out the stones. And uh, I think just lichen and bushes like that. Some trees. Um, I've got some trees I'm working on as well that I can use. Um, and you could easily build up this terrain. And perhaps a couple of ruins in grey uh, and then sort of some lichen on them and some weathering effects I think would look very effective indeed. Right, the next map that I've got is uh, the barren wasteland and uh, should, go ni should go nicely with the desert terrain uh, that I have. So it's in contrast really to this swamp terrain. Again, I love the idea of these cases. They're so handy uh, for transporting these mats around. I mean, they're convenient enough as they are, the fact that they just roll up. Your entire 6x4 table just rolls up into a mat. So they're professionally produced, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, good job. So we'll just roll this one out and we'll take a look at it. Right, so that's the map rolled out. Uh, strong theme to this one. So you've got more uh, browns in this one, and then areas of sand, and then some strong areas of rock as well. Uh, I think this will suit my desert train very, very nicely indeed. Uh, I'll, I'll get some of it out and I'll sort of show you how it can sit on top. But remember, as I said, this is the foundation. Uh, for your game, uh, but there's plenty of areas of interest on this, very nice. And the good thing about battle mats uh, is they are so figure friendly. You drop a lead figure over um, and there'll be no damage done, nice soft landing. Uh, for dice rolls as well, there's no noise, uh, that clatter of dice, uh, that's eliminated as well with the softness of the gaming uh, surface as well. And then just the convenience, uh, you, you get a real nice you know, artistic piece um, and then it just rolls up and then you can put it in your carry case. Uh, once the game is done, so I can't see why you, you know you get one of these and it can last you for a long, long time. And if you've got some friends, you know, get a different one each, then uh, you can add some real variety uh, to your games for little or no effort at all. Right, it's just a close-up view here of the barren wasteland terrain. Uh, a lot of areas of interest on this. Uh, there's a lot of different textures. Uh, so you've got the sand kind of effect here. You've got different rock kind of surfaces. The brown. Uh, brown areas, and you've got this strong uh, valley theme that they've uh, created. Some marks indicating some vehicles have gone along there. You can see some uh, some light markings for uh, perhaps some tank tracks and so on, but not too strong. Uh, and then this strong edging theme here with the rocks. So, uh, I can imagine lining up some terrain along these edges um, and creating a winding valley, and then the, the base mat itself will help you emphasize uh, that as it's built up so the mat will link in with the terrain as you place it. I can't see any reason why you wouldn't you know wouldn't fight against the design that you have you just um, the two would complement each other the terrain that you place and then the mat foundation both working together to create a nice strong theme. Uh, so I take a piece of my terrain here here's a nice spot to put a bit of my desert terrain uh, look how well that sits, very very nice and then some rocks and stones like so and you can see the rocks and stones that are already incorporated into the design it sort of all matches up very nice uh, rocks and stones are a perfect way of just blending in uh, your terrain and then there you go, look how well that sits on the table uh, that's very good, and the mat just enhances the terrain that you already have. And that's the idea of these mats, is the uh, design of them uh, complements the terrain that you already have. Right, so that's the review for these two fat mats uh, from Frontline Gaming. Uh, check out the website, frontlinegaming.org. And, and what surprised me is that they're available in the UK as well. So if you're in the UK and you're interested in these, uh, then it should be quite straightforward getting hold of them as well. So check out the website for details. And then uh, there is a great variety of battle mats on there. Uh, there's these two and there's a whole lot of others. And then also uh, there's a lot of mats available for Star Wars X-Wing as well. So that's the review. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.